I think if you've got it, flaunt it, it looks really good. Who doesn't want to be Queen Bey? It's no secret almost everyone has great admiration for Beyonce, including the Kardashians. If you scroll through their Instagrams, you can't help but say, that looks familiar. You can definitely tell they took inspiration from Queen Bey. They say imitation is the greatest form of flattery, but are the Car Jenners taking it too far? They've put so much work into really getting looks for every single family member. Kylie's Marine Sayre bodysuit. All of us have gotten fashion inspo from Beyonce, but fans said Kylie is just straight up copying. In Beyonce's Instagram post, she was posing in a dark blue and red Marine Sayre bodysuit with a sleek belt, an oversized black coat, retro sunglasses, and pumps. Then Kylie's outfit was basically the same except her bodysuit was beige and black. People were also comparing Kylie's pose saying, everyone wants to be Beyonce. The only difference is Kylie Jenner has enough money to actually do it. This one has too many little details to be a coincidence. People will pinpoint every single thing about you. Chloe's all pink look. When Khloe Kardashian became a brand partner with Ipsy, she found herself being criticized on social media after several promotional photos from her new partnership with the beauty subscription service surfaced online. In the photos, she's seen rocking an all pink ensemble, along with chestnut colored hair. The brunette locks with the pink clothes make her look just like Beyonce. Fans compared her appearance in the pink-themed shoot to that of Queen Bey's in her 2005 Check On It music video. The red background doesn't help with the comparisons. One Twitter user joked how Check On It was a moment with Chloe's picture as a screenshot of the music video. What can we say? She fits right in. Kim's black dress. At the 2018 Met Gala, Kim Kardashian looked stunning in a gold chainmail Versace dress, but her second dress people didn't love. For her after-party look, Kim opted for a black Versace number with a caged corset and buckled straps, leading to the neckline. She paired the look with see-through heels and a sleek black ponytail. However, fans of the star have been quick to notice that Kim's dress is identical to that worn by Queen Bey in 2011 for a photo shoot with Complex magazine. The Shade Room posted side-by-side -side comparisons, calling it an ultimate showdown. Who do you think won? Kylie's Green Leopard Jumpsuit when Kylie Jenner posted a photo of herself sporting dirty blonde hair and posing in a green leopard print jumpsuit on Insta, fans quickly accused her of copying Beyonce's look. They asked if she was cosplaying Beyonce. Kylie's pictures drew comparisons to a stage outfit Beyonce wore to V Festival seven years ago. Fans noticed that Kylie's hand on hip pose down perfectly was eerily similar to Beyonce's pose in an Instagram photo. Coincidence or not? Kylie's leopard suit. The green leopard look isn't the first leopard fans have accused Kylie of copying from Beyonce. When posing in leopard print from head to toe for her new Kylie Cosmetics leopard collection, fans thought it looked very similar to Beyonce's previous looks. Some felt certain looks were very akin to Beyonce's in videos for songs such as Kitty Cat from her 2006 album B-Day and Partition from her 2013 self-titled album. While Beyoncé does not own leopard print, fans feel it's the combination of Kylie's makeup with the leopard cat suit that's too uncanny. Chloe's Gold Gown Chloe went big for Diana Ross's 75th birthday party. She went for big curly locks, a glamorous gold gown, gold hoops, and gold shoes. Paired with bold makeup, Chloe's look is very familiar. That's because Beyoncé wore a similar look before. The big hair and the accessories are the same. Just like Beyonce's dress, Chloe's dress has long sleeves, a plunging neckline, and a high slit. Kim's gown. Fans swore Kim channeled Beyonce at the 2015 Met Gala. She wore a sheer Roberto Cavalli dress, which featured crystal embroidery and a long fur train. Other than the color, the gown looks very similar in shape to Beyonce's Met Gala gown in 2012. At that time, she wore a sheer black Givenchy gown with crystal embroidery and a purple fur train. She styled her hair in a sleek ponytail. Kim also tied her hair in a sleek ponytail. However, Kim said her outfit was inspired by Cher. She posted on Instagram a photo of Cher's first Met Gala look along with the caption, Tonight's inspiration, Cher at the first ever Met Gala. I just met her and told her this photo was my inspiration for my dress tonight. She is so beautiful, so happy I met her. What do you think, inspired by Cher or Queen Bee? Single ladies. 
She posted the snaps of herself in outfits that would not look out of place in Beyonce's wardrobe. The first image, which Kim labeled split personalities, shows her dressed in all black and seemed to be inspired by the single ladies video. Coincidentally, Kim, Chloe, and Courtney really paid homage to Beyonce's single ladies as they recreated the iconic music video. At the time, Courtney was pregnant, but nevertheless stunning. Kylie's Met Dress it seems the Kar Jenner sisters have a thing for using Beyonce's Met Gala dresses as inspiration for their own Met Gala dresses. Remember that mind-blowing naked dress they graced us with at the Met in 2015? Kylie stepped out at the 2017 Met Gala's rocking an Atelier Versace gown that has a very similar vibe. You can't help but wonder, did Beyonce inspire Kylie? Considering the likeness between the two creations, and not to mention that both Kylie and Beyonce had platinum blonde hair, the question is valid. Kim's Retro Photo Shoot Kim Kardashian's 60s retro-themed photo shoot with Interview had people confused if it was her or Beyonce. Kim and her daughter, Northwest, who also got her own feature in the magazine, look incredible in their retro gear, inspired by Jackie Kennedy. But the photos had people doing a double take. Fans asked, doesn't she look just like Beyonce? The resemblance is a little spooky. It probably has something to do with the way Kim's makeup was done. In the past, Beyonce has done 1960s-themed photo shoots and videos. She also starred in the movie Dream Girls, where she wore wigs similar to Kardashians. Kim's White Outfit When Kim posted her theatrical white outfit on her social media, she received mixed reactions. While some fans loved it, others were commenting on how she was copying Beyonce. The hat, the fringe, and the head tilt. Kim was dressed head-to-toe in Moogler, which overlapped with Beyonce's tour stage outfit, which was custom-made by Moogler. Kendall Stylist While her sisters get inspired by Beyonce in more obvious ways, Kendall keeps it low-key. She once said in an interview she wants to be Beyonce's personal assistant. Why? So she can know what Beyonce eats and do the same for herself. The next step to that, naturally, is to hire Beyonce's stylist. Kendall Jenner's style started revamping when she hired Beyonce's stylist, Marnie Senafonte. While Kendall hasn't worn the exact clothes Beyonce has, the stylist did put her in some Beyonce-like dresses. Like this one, with the plunging neckline and the high slit. Parental Advisory Alexander Wang's parental advisory top was a big hit. Beyonce wore hers to a trip to the Dominican Republic on her wedding anniversary. Soon after, not one, but two Kar Jenner sisters were spotted with the shirt. Kylie wore hers with a long blue coat and black pants. Chloe opted for white pants. Chloe's poses. Like the rest of us, Chloe definitely uses Beyonce's Instagram as inspiration. And on her own Insta, Chloe Kardashian paid homage to Beyonce. She posted a collage of snaps in which she poses up against a wall just like Queen Bey did. Copying Queen Bey, Chloe raised her arms above her head and showed off her curves. With her back turned to the camera, Chloe wrote on Beyonce's post, I just got my motivation for the year. Holy moly, yes, I see you, shut it down. Lemonade. Beyonce's lemonade was a cultural moment. Just like the rest of us, Kim Kardashian thought so too. So she has to pay homage in her own way. One of Bay's defining looks of the era is her braids and fur. You automatically think of lemonade when you see it. Of course, Kim had to do her own version. To help promote Pat McGrath's skin fetish, 003, Kim channeled her best lemonade Beyonce with braids and fur. Even the lighting and feel is similar. The fashion icon Paris Hilton is a huge inspiration for the Kardashian and Jenner family. This fashion-loving family takes inspiration from all kinds of designs, eras, models, and even other A-list celebs. From Kim and Courtney to Kylie and Kendall, these sisters all take notes from the 2000s icon who coined the phrase, that's hot. Hi. I'm Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton's looks keep getting copied by the Car Jenners, and we're here for it. Bring on the low-rise jeans and UGG boots. That's hot. Glitter Swarovski mini dress. In the early 2000s, Paris Hilton was the ultimate it girl. She single-handedly made party looks a thing and showed us that mini skirts and butterfly clips were needed in every girl's closet. One of her most famous looks was a glittery Swarovski crystal dress worn for her 21st birthday. Paris paired the sparkly mini dress with a choker and dark smoky eye makeup indicative of her bold style. In a tribute to the Gen X icon, millennial model Kendall Jenner wore an exact replica of the dress to her own 21st birthday 
party. Kim also showed her love for the chainmail-like outfit in an Instagram post wearing a very similar dress. Of course, the Carr Jenner sisters are never afraid to say that Paris did it first. Tracksuits Let's talk about the Juicy Couture tracksuit. Juicy Couture tracksuits are so ingrained into fashion history that it's easy to forget who was the actual forefather of velour. Yep, it's Paris. Always wear ones that are colorful, or else you'll look like you're actually going to the gym. Ew. In the early 2000s, Paris's friend sent her juicy tracksuits to wear and promote for the new woman-run brand. She fell in love with the comfortable and stylish suits. As soon as I put on my first juicy tracksuit, I was obsessed. Soon, every celebrity was wearing them, including up-and-coming fashion icon Kim Kardashian. Kim is still a fan of the velour look, and recently rocked it in a throwback-themed shoot with Paris for Skims. Now, younger stars like Kendall and Kylie are bringing back the tracksuit style. Safe to say, this comfy two-piece outfit is here to stay. Bra and corset tops How many people can get away with wearing a bra as a top? Paris's signature look has always been confidence, and she rocked the bra top look long before the Kardashians dared to bear it all. I mean, what else goes better with low-rise miniskirts than a barely there bra top? Kendall Jenner expertly executed the look at the Cannes Film Festival in 2017, and Kim often rocks the bra top and corset tops on and off the red carpets. Playboy costumes. For Halloween in 2019, Kylie stunned fans when she wore a Playboy-themed costume complete with bunny ears. Did you know that Paris did it first? Back in 2014, Paris donned a similar costume to celebrate comedian Seth MacFarlane's birthday at a club party attended by all the A-listers of the year. Recently, she reminded us that she's the queen of the bunny costume again, with a post to Instagram archiving her best Playboy pinup looks trucker hats. I'm here to tell you why the early 2000s were the hottest years in fashion history. A big part of the iconic 2000s look for young club goers was rocking a Von Dutch trucker hat. Even those of us who couldn't spring for the pricey designer mesh ball cap had a closet full of lookalikes. I love trucker hats. The trucker hat look is making a comeback in 2021 with top model Kendall bringing us Von Dutch vibes. Pink party vibes. One of Paris Hilton's signature looks is all over hot pink. Apparently, Paris's Barbie style is timeless since we're seeing similar looks on the Car Jenners lately. Trade millennium pink for millennial pink. From bright pink bodycon dresses to cut out soft pink hues, Kim has emulated the rose-colored fits on more than one occasion. Chloe was also a fan of the pink looks, especially with her pink corset top by House of CB and jeans worn on Keeping Up With The Kardashians Season 17. Leopard Slip Dress During her days in the spotlight, leopard print was Paris Hilton's go-to pattern. A few years later, Kendall Jenner wore leopard print paired with biker boots and dark shades. How off-duty model is she? Kim K also rocked minimal print over the years, with one of her best looks being a 2019 head-to-toe leopard bodysuit by Azadine Alaya, jacket and boots. And who can forget Courtney's leopard throwback pic proving that animal print was and always will be a classic. Mini skirts with heels. Skirts should be the size of a belt. A good mini skirt never goes out of style, but Paris took low-cut skirts to another level by pairing them with sky-high heels. I don't know if I'd wear this ever again. The Kardashians copied Paris's mini skirt and heels look on multiple occasions. Kendall wears mini skirts all the time and is fully bringing the millennium trend into the 2020s. Life short. Take risks. Graphic tees. T-shirts are the best way to tell the world your most profound thoughts. Graphic tees have come in and out of style for a few decades, with stars like Paris, Lindsay Lohan, and Britney Spears making it cool to show off sassy sayings through T-shirts. Paris tells us what's on her mind via her shirt. Kourtney Kardashian recently started wearing graphic tees and band tees to go with her new rocker girlfriend vibe. Whether it's cheeky sayings from 2003 or political messages in 2021, you can't go wrong with a graphic tee and and a hint of irony. Oversized bags. When Kim was still hanging out with Paris before solidifying her own career, the besties would hop around town with their massive tote bags. Many Fendi's are cool, but these gals loved their oversized shoulder bags. When Kanye West helped Kim clean out her closet on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, we saw just how attached Kim was to her big bags a la Paris. 
Ugg boots. Paris Hilton would never be caught leaving her house in Ugg boots nowadays, but back in her Simple Life days, the heiress was a fan of the comfy winter footwear. The style was to wear the chunky boots with mini skirts, shorts, jeans, anything. Sorry to tell you, but Uggs are officially back. Kim, Kendall, and Kylie wore the cozy boots while out and about. Chunky belts. Paris Hilton was the queen of chunky belts. Who says belts are for practical use only? Paris made chunky, patent leather belts cool, and the Kardashians ran with the trend in the 2000s and 2010s. Kim, in particular, was a fan of the chunky belt and rocked many a look involving sweaters, jeans, leggings, and yes, a completely unnecessary belt. Hairstyles. Paris has always had a platinum blonde hairstyle complete with a daily blowout that probably costs more than the average salary. When Kim and her sister started making it big in the industry, they copied Paris' daily beauty routine and opted for big, blown-out do's. Kim even had a brief blonde moment for a shoot where it seemed like she was finally going fully Parisian. Rhinestone Chokers There's no such thing as too many rhinestones. Paris is a big believer in blinged out accessories and rocked the rhinestone choker look well into the 2020s. Kim is also a fan of bedazzled neckwear, and while she often opts for real diamonds, she's also been known to rock the rhinestone look in choker form. Much like her former bestie, Kim loves bling. Low rise jeans. Jeans definitely look better lower. While high-waisted jeans may have been all over the 90s and 2010s, fashion is coming full circle, with the millennium low-rise look made famous by Paris coming back in style. The Kardashians stay on top of trends, and so we won't be surprised if we see these fashionistas rocking the low-cut look sooner than later. Yes are good they make your butt look really cute. Kim recently wore some low-rise comfies at home, and Kylie does low-cut jeans on her gram feed from time to time. We especially love Kendall's cool girl take on the low-rise style. And if you're not having fun, then just leave. I will tell you this, just wear two pairs of shapewear and get out of the house. I've always wanted to do Kim's makeup. There's definitely a family resemblance between Kim Kardashian and Kylie Jenner, but how much of it is genetics and how much is the result of their similar styles? Does Kylie have her own aesthetic or does she rely too much on her big sister Kim? Bronde hair we all know that Kylie Jenner loves to switch up her hairstyle, and over the years we've seen her rock a range of colors from ice blue to hot pink. But when the rainbow doesn't provide enough inspiration, she's been known to take her cue from big sister Kim Kardashian. We know Kylie has had platinum blonde locks in the past, but at one point, she decided to style herself somewhere between blonde and brunette. This blonde look is easy to pull off, super flattering, and Kylie's method of getting the look is commitment-free. She got her usually long hair cut short and decided to try out a bronze wig. While it looked great on her, it also looked really familiar. That's because we've seen Kim Kardashian sporting this ultra flattering hair color before Kylie chose her wig. But surprisingly, she wasn't the first in the family to come up with this idea. Khloe Kardashian posted a picture on Instagram of herself wearing a bronze ponytail and asked her followers if she should commit to an all over bronze look. When Kim debuted her new hair color on her Instagram stories, she said Khloe and Kylie thought they were gonna beat me to this hair color, but I got them. Although the fashion inspiration in this family is top notch, apparently so is the competition. Fountain top hair. So we've got Kylie copying Kim's hair color, but that's not the only time she took inspo from her big sister's locks. There are so many great options for pulling your hair out of your face, from pigtails to a messy bun. But Kim is known for her sleek sense of style, and we've seen her with this simple yet chic updo before. It's a half fountain top, and it manages to look both retro and trendy at the same time. She wore her hair styled this way to celebrate her grandmother, MJ's 85th birthday, and took full advantage of the fun photo booth. Of course, Kylie just couldn't resist trying it out for herself and showed off the look in her Instagram stories. She posed with her friend and makeup artist, Ariel, as she relaxed in a white bathroom after a long day. This look was big in the 1960s, but apparently it's come back in a big way if multiple members of the Kardashian-Jenner family are sporting it. Gown both Kim and Kylie definitely know how to dress to impress when they're going to a fancy event, but when Kylie decides to deviate from her beloved athleisure aesthetic, sometimes she looks at Kim's past looks to help her decide what to wear. When Kim showed up to celebrate P. Diddy's 50th birthday party, she did so in a luxurious cream gown with a stunning train. This helped her stand out from the other guests and her own siblings. Chloe and Kylie, on the other hand, were practically twinning. Kim chose a vintage piece featuring designer Vivian West 
Westward's iconic corset silhouette. To complete the look, she paired this amazing dress with a coordinating Chanel bag. She definitely looked red carpet ready in this elegant ensemble. Birthday parties are big deals for the Kardashian-Jenner family, and so is Christmas. When Kylie got ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, she picked a dress which looked surprisingly similar to the gown Kim wore to Diddy's birthday. Although the silhouettes are similar, Kylie's piece is a custom gown by Ralph and Russo. She even had a matching dress made for her adorable daughter Stormy. The dresses are strikingly similar, but Kylie added a bit of drama to hers with a long leg slit and eye-catching accessories cropped hair, and sweats. Thanks to the magic of hair extensions, Kim and Kylie can take their hair from short to long in no time at all. Sometimes Kim opts for a low maintenance look and keeps her hair just about at shoulder high. Then she curls the ends inward in a style reminiscent of 90s style icon Christy Turlington. This long bob with flipped ends was a great interpretation of the 90s style trend, and Kim was seen rocking it at the Second Chance Hiring Initiative event at the White House. She achieved this look with the help of hairstylist Chris Appleton, and it ended up being a great trend transition look while growing her hair out. Before she showed off her bronze wig, Kylie revealed that hairstylist Jesus Guerrero had cut off her hair in a similar fashion. According to Kylie, she had just asked for a trim, but the haircut ended up being shorter than she was expecting, and both siblings have taken advantage of this low-maintenance hairstyle by pairing it with sweats. This is a classic case of Kim Kardashian's style being emulated by her sister Kylie. Sweats Again, we all know that Kim Kardashian knows how to glow up, but there are some days when she prefers a more laid-back look. After all, this mom of four is big-time busy, so who can blame her for dressing in a simple pair of gray sweats from time to time? It doesn't show off her figure as much as most of her other outfits, but sometimes you just have to prioritize your own comfort, especially when you really need to grab a cup of coffee. Kylie is known for showing off in more form-fitting athleisure pieces, but sometimes she mixes it up by copying Kim's ultra casual look. Just a week after Kim shared this Instagram picture of her wearing head-to-toe gray sweats, Kylie did the same. But really, what else are you supposed to wear when you're lounging around on a kitchen island? And apparently Stormy is taking after her mother and Aunt Kim since she also has her own gray sweatshirt. You're never too young to appreciate the comfort of a nice hoodie. Number of children Ever since since Kylie gave birth to her daughter Stormy, people have been wondering when she'll have a second child. Even after she and Stormy's father, Travis Scott, split, she says her friends are constantly pestering her to have another kid. Apparently, Stormy is just so sweet, they want a few more children just like her running around. Kylie may be young, but she always wanted to be a mother and dreams of having a big family someday. In fact, her ideal family size is the same as her sister Kim's. These two siblings posted a video on YouTube called Get Ready With Us, Kim and Kylie. The two shared their beauty products from KKW and Kylie Cosmetics, as well as some of their thoughts on motherhood. Kylie admitted that she sees herself having four children someday, just like Kim. According to Kim, four kids is her absolute maximum. She believes that she couldn't handle balancing her work, her relationship with her husband, and more than four children. As far as Kim's concerned, she's totally done adding to her family. But it seems like Kylie is just getting started. However, don't expect her to have a baby anytime soon. This makeup mogul says that she doesn't have a specific timeline in mind, and it could be a while before she decides to grow her family. White Bodysuit and Pose Clearly, Kylie gets a lot of her fashion inspiration from her sister, and who can blame her? After all, even Kim finds herself inspiring. She claims that her Mrs. West collection is based on her own wedding day makeup, artfully applied by Mario Dedivanovic. According to Kim, everything from packaging to shade names of this special KKW collection has special meaning to her, and she took some promotional photos to help spread the word. She shared an Instagram pic of herself wearing a sleek white bodysuit and posing with her hands in the air. Even though Kylie might not be riding on a horse in her Instagram photo, it's not hard to see how similar she looks to Kim. She's also wearing a full coverage white bodysuit and is striking the same pose as her sister. Even their makeup looks almost identical. Kylie seems to think she looks like Elsa in this pic, but we think she looks way more like her sister Kim. You know what they say, some things never change white dress and cropped pony. Kim knows that it's possible to style the humble ponytail into something worthy of a big event. She and her husband Kanye West enjoyed a fancy family dinner in Los Angeles with a bunch of other big-name celebs, including Brad Pitt. To get ready to dine at Crustacean, Kim wore a white off-the-shoulder dress and a high ponytail. Kanye kept things much more casual by wearing a sweatshirt, slacks, sneakers, and a pair of sunglasses. Kylie also showed up alongside her then-partner, wearing a strikingly similar outfit. She and Travis 
Travis arrived at the premiere of his Netflix documentary, Travis Scott, Look Mom, I Can Fly, matching Kim and Kanye pretty well. Even though Travis was wearing a suit, he favored dark earth tones, much like Kanye. Meanwhile, Kylie was definitely a double for Kim with her cropped pony and similar slim-fitting white dress. Graphic Long Sleeve Looks both of these sisters looked fantastic in their all-white bodysuits, but that doesn't mean they're afraid of bold patterns. We've seen Kim K rock some figure-fitting outfits over the years with some wild and eye-catching prints. Whether it's a short dress or a full-on bodysuit, Kim definitely knows how to make it work. Kylie's also not shy about opting for an all-over style. She definitely knows that picking the right pattern can really help accentuate your curves, even in a skin-tight outfit. It's easy to envy the way Kim and Kylie look in these outfits, but we have a feeling their foundation garments likely match as well. Kim's a loud and proud advocate for shapewear, and has been for years before she debuted her own Skims collection. She's even admitted to wearing two pairs on top of each other to get the smoothest look possible. Kylie isn't shy about following in her sister's footsteps and embracing the power of shapewear. She's even shared a Spanx selfie and somehow manages to make shapewear look chic. Leather Pants Kim might have no shortage of shapewear, but there's another item her closet is full of. Yes, we're talking about leather pants, and she has tons of them. She's been seen wearing a pair of lace-up leather flares, peach bottoms, and even some bold snake prints, and she doesn't just embrace this trend in casual settings. This star showed up at the WSJ MAG Innovator Awards, wearing an off-the-shoulder denim corset and a pair of blue leather chaps. Kylie seems to be following in her footsteps by covering her legs in leather as well. She knows that a fitted pair of black leather pants can make even a plain white t-shirt look chic. This star has even branched out by wearing a pair of wide-legged leather trousers by Bottega Veneta. These slacks may look simple, but they're not cheap. A single pair will set you back $3,950. As much of the rest of us might like to copy Kim's style, it can get expensive. They say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, right? If that's true, then Cardi B should feel incredibly flattered by all the times Kylie Jenner seems to copy her. Are these just coincidences, or is Kylie totally stealing looks from Cardi B? You might have noticed that Kylie Jenner is a big fan of showing off her designer looks on Instagram. December 2019 was no exception as Kylie showed us one of her favorite designers, Chanel, multiple times while on a snowy vacation. Seriously, Kylie was dripping in Chanel. One look she sported was all Chanel with this $3,350 onesie, these fuzzy gloves and headband, and a cropped black hairdo. A truly iconic look. So iconic, in fact, that many people felt they had seen this look before. That's because in August of 2019, Cardi B had already worn this look. Cardi worked the same Chanel onesie with a simple white tee, matching Chanel earrings, and a short black hairdo. Kylie's look may have had more of a snow bunny vibe than Cardi B's, but these looks are just too similar to be called a coincidence. Speaking of onesie designer looks, Kylie seemed to copy another chic designer look by Cardi B, but this time it involved their daughters, Culture and Stormy. You gotta keep the little ones warm, but make it fashion. Cardi B posted a photo of her and little baby Culture hanging on a private jet in January of 2019. Culture is all bundled up in a chic hooded puffer onesie from Versace, retailing at about $830 to stay both warm and stylish. Only the best for their little girls, right? Well, Kylie probably thought that was a good idea for her little girl Stormy on their December 2019 snowy vacation. Kylie and Stormy wore matching Montclair white snowsuits, which kept Stormy perfectly warm as she showed off her snowboarding skills. We think maybe Cardi B had the designer baby onesie idea first. Whether they're matching in snowsuits or not, these moms enjoy posting pics of their little girls, even if they're masquerading as their own moms. In September of 2019, Cardi B posted this funny picture of her daughter Culture looking exactly like her. Albeit photoshopped, this whole my daughter looks just like me kind of post may have inspired Kylie Jenner to do something similar. Rather than just a joke photo to post, Kylie put little Stormy in a full costume for Halloween as herself. Recreating Kylie's Met Gala look, but in a miniature version, Stormy was dressed in head-to-toe lavender just like mom. Timeline-wise, Cardi B's baby post definitely came first. 
Let's bring back that iconic Met Gala look of Kylie's, shall we? In May of 2019, Kylie debuted this all-purple feathered frock for the famous annual event, complete with a matching lavender wig, and we were all shook. This moment basically broke the internet. But there's a good chance Kylie was inspired by a look that Cardi B had worn the year before. At Paris Fashion Week in September of 2018, Cardi B wowed in this all-lavender feathered look, also complete with a matching purple wig. The purple feathers cascaded down her purple suit, and it really has us thinking that Kylie was inspired for the upcoming Met Gala the next year. Now, when it comes to this feathered look, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Or maybe it was just Cardi B. Sometimes it has taken Kylie a few months to be inspired by Cardi B's looks, and other times it only takes a few days. A good example would be one of Cardi B's more glamorous looks. On September 13, 2019, Cardi B posted a few photos of her on the red carpet for Rihanna's Diamond Ball, wearing a gorgeous blush pink gown making her look like a delicate couture flower. Cardi B was simply stunning. So stunning, it inspired Kylie to post some promotional photos for her makeup collaboration with Belmont just under two weeks later. One of the looks Kylie is wearing for the promotion looks awfully similar to Cardi B's red carpet look. Is it just us, or does this outfit look similar to you too? From that same Belmont collaboration photo shoot in September 2019, there was another look that Kylie wore that felt oddly familiar. Two of them, actually. These structured shoulder looks, both in white, look stunning on Kylie, but this look maybe came from Cardi B first, back in May of 2019. Cardi rocked a very similar look months before to promote her collaboration with Fashion Nova, and maybe Kylie picked up on a few bits of this look for her own shoot. Cardi B loves to see her little girl culture dancing to her music. She shared this adorable moment of her baby daughter clutching a phone enjoying clout by Offset featuring her mom. The cute video was posted on October 11th by Cardi B. Just a few days later, on October 17th, Kylie posted a similar video of Little Stormy dancing to the viral Rise and Shine remix that featured some of Kylie's singing. It's hard to tell the difference because these two videos almost look like the same little girl dancing to the same song. You like it? Fashion has always been my defense mechanism. I like want to try and dress cute and like I would always just like try and copy her outfit. Okay, it's no secret that Rihanna slays each and every style she wears. The music icon went from being one of the world's best artists to a fashion icon and beauty influencer overnight. Riri is always quick to try out new things and sometimes even start them herself, working with some of the biggest brands in the industry like Gucci and Dior. While Rihanna is a legend, she's got a pretty big name following in her footsteps, almost literally. Kylie Jenner loves loves Rihanna's style so much that she's copied her looks from head to toe over 10 times. We'll let the photos speak for themselves. Leopard Catsuit Kylie Jenner fans are a little ticked off at one of her Instagram posts of her in a skin-tight leopard suit. No one is denying that the makeup and beauty mogul is an absolutely fire in this picture, but some people think Kylie is trying to steal from another beauty queen in the fashion world. July 2019, just before Kylie jet off on her Kylie skin vacation with her girls featuring baby Baby Stormy, of course, the beauty icon posted a selfie with a $695 leopard print cat suit by Laquan Smith, according to Cosmopolitan. Shortly after posting the picture, the comments started flooding in about Kylie's similarity to Rihanna's Instagram post from June 2019 for Interview Magazine. Some comments flat out just tag at Bad Gal Riri, while others call her out saying she copied Rihanna's outfit, check Rihanna's Instagram, you'll see, and Riri wore it best. Hashtag and that's the tea. And while some were not having it, others embraced the inspiration saying the Rihanna inspiration is a wonderful thing. Y'all look cute in this piece. After the comments flooded Kylie's IG, fans took to Twitter to continue the Kylie Jenner copies Rihanna movement that seems to have been going on. We'll just chalk it up to Rihanna being one of Kylie's favorite inspirations because it didn't start here. Crystal Dress Rihanna made headlines for the super revealing gown she wore to the CFDA Fashion Awards in 2014. She stepped out on the red carpet in a barely there dress made with over 216,000 Swarovski crystals. The custom-made fishnet dress was designed by Adam Selman, only 
Rihanna has the guts and the bod to step out in something so see-through. The controversial dress sparked criticism the moment people saw it. One reporter reacted negatively to how exposed Rihanna was on the carpet, to which she replied, they're covered in Swarovski crystals, girl. The daring outfit was legendary, to say the least, resulting in a meme of Peter Griffin from Family Guy in the same outfit. Rihanna won the Fashion Icon Award that night, and it was obvious why. That dress alone was iconic enough. Peter Griffin wasn't the only one inspired by Rihanna to bear it all in a sparkly dress. Kylie was dressed in a very similar gown for a mysterious photo shoot with her family. In December 2018, Kylie posted several photos of herself on Instagram in a bejeweled dress that left little to the imagination. The sparkling number differed from Rihanna's in that it had long sleeves and Kylie wore nude underwear beneath it. But in essence, she was certainly inspired by the queen of gleam, Rihanna. No one forgot about her Swarovski dress even five years later. It's a wrap. Rihanna was conveniently absent from the 2014 Grammys, even though her album Unapologetic won Best Contemporary Album. But that doesn't mean she'll ditch a party. She attended the Clive Davis pre-Grammy gala looking absolutely stunning. She was dressed in a sexy yellow gown with an insanely high slit. The silk wrap dress showed off Rihanna's toned leg and even a little hip bone. Uh, yeah, it was that high. The dress was from Alexandra Vautier's spring 2014 collection and Rihanna worked it like she was walking the runway. The silk number's neckline was dangerously low too, highlighting Rihanna's chest tattoos. To tie the whole outfit together, Rihanna paired it with gold lace-up Louboutins. Months after Rihanna debuted this sexy yellow outfit, Kylie attended the MTV Video Music Awards in a similar piece. Kylie stepped onto the red carpet in a black silk wrap dress that looked almost identical to Rihanna's pre-Grammys gown. It also had a high slit and long sleeves, though Kylie kept the neckline a tiny bit less revealing. But the billowy silk dress was way too close to Rihanna's for it to pass as simply inspired. Maybe Kylie thought wearing it almost seven months later was enough time for people to forget, but the internet never forgets. Wigging out. This time, Kylie was actually successful in fooling Twitter users with her look. In July of 2017, a Twitter user found a photo of Kylie shielding herself from the paparazzi as she walked in the street. She was wearing laced up leather pants with a white sweater. She also had on a black bob that was most likely a wig, large sunglasses, and a fancy watch on her wrist. She hid her face from the bright flash of the cameras with her hand, covering practically everything but her lips. At first glance, it's so easy to mistake Kylie for Rihanna. Many other Twitter users were replied to the tweet, saying they thought the photo of Kylie was actually Rihanna. The first Twitter user compared it to a photo of Rihanna that showed her holding the same hand position and wearing the same wig and sunglasses. The similarities are so uncanny, it's scary. Both Kylie and Rihanna's fans were quick to take sides. Kylie's fans said she was showing Rihanna how it's really done, while a Rihanna fan stated any trend you see Kylie wear, Rihanna did it first and better. Denim duo. Rihanna's been suited up in denim on denim on denim a number of times. The singer isn't singing any regrets about channeling 2001 Britney and Justin with her head-to-toe blue jean looks. Rihanna tucked in a chambray shirt with the sleeves rolled up into her old-school jean skirt to complete the all-denim look. In her hands, she held a blue crocodile skin clutch to complement the blue of her denim. It was a look Kylie deemed worthy of stealing, which she did two years later in 2015. While out for some retail therapy, Kylie was wearing a distressed denim pencil skirt that was practically the twin of Rihanna's with a little fewer holes fringe jumpsuit. While vacationing with her family in Costa Rica in 2017, Kylie took to Instagram to show off her sexy outfit. It was a white fringe jumpsuit with a camisole-style top, and it showed off a lot of skin. Kylie got it from The Doll's House Fashion, a boutique based in Manchester, England. But those with an eye for fashion, particularly Rihanna's fashion, noticed that the white jumpsuit was eerily similar to the one Rihanna wore to the MTV VMAs the previous year. Rihanna attended an MTV VMA after party in an olive green jumpsuit with, you guessed it, lots of fringe. But hers was designed by Lampas Couture, a New York City boutique. It may seem like Kylie's isn't the knockoff after all, but Rihanna still wore hers first. We're willing to bet that if Rihanna didn't party in that jumpsuit, Kylie wouldn't have thought of bringing it to Costa Rica. Reversible Camo Copycat Looks from the runway don't always make their way to the streets right away. That is, until a celebrity is spotted wearing a high fashion piece in their daily wardrobe. In 2017, a popular piece among celebs was the Vediments Reversible Camouflage Coat which was made in collaboration with Canada Goose. Rihanna was a fan of the camo parka, which she used to keep warm while out in New York City in January of 2017. She wore it green side out and paired it with a fleece jumpsuit that she designed. The big and cozy coat seemed to be perfect for chilly nights in New York, especially for Kylie Jenner. That same month, Kylie was spotted in the exact same reversible parka
America while in New York. So not only did Kylie put on the same outfit as Rihanna, she was in the same place too. Kylie was dressed in an all black number with the vetements coat as her statement piece, but she wore it with a twist, putting the gray side out instead of the green. We still see what you did there, Kylie. Oversized and already done. When out in cold cities like New York and London, you can count on Rihanna bundling up in the most stylish coats of the season. While out shopping in London's luxury department store Harrods, Rihanna wore an oversized padded coat by Raph Simone. The sporty puffer coat was from the designer's 2016 fall and winter menswear collection and it looked simply awesome on Rihanna. Kylie was definitely channeling Rhee's street vibe when she put on an enormously oversized black down coat by German designer and friend Philip Plein. Slogan and selfie shirts. Voting selfies were a big trend among celebrities who were trying to get more people to vote. While it was fun to see big stars doing something as normal as lining up to vote, people wondered if it actually brought more voters to the polls. Rihanna has shown no fear when it comes to voicing out her political opinions, so instead of just posting a normal voting selfie as the other celebs did, Rihanna took it a step further. She wore a shirt by Trap Villa with Hillary Clinton's face on it in the streets of New York. Being Rihanna, she had her picture taken in no time. For her voting day outfit, Rihanna made a few edits to that Hillary t-shirt. She printed the photo of her wearing the shirt onto the new shirt with a red banner that said, I'm with her and her. In true meta fashion, Rihanna then posted a selfie of her in that shirt with the caption, hashtag vote. Kylie and Rihanna must be on the same wavelength as Kylie launched her online store of Kylie themed merch a month later. One of Kylie's products was a shirt with her selfie printed on it. Looks a little familiar, right? Of course it did. During the 2016 MTV VMAs, Rihanna took the stage in an all pink ensemble. She was wearing bubblegum pink chaps with cutouts and plenty of zippers. She paired it with a shirt style bodysuit and a matching pink corset that had sleeves, but of course she didn't actually wear the sleeves. The look was apparently danceable for Rihanna, who didn't seem hindered by the corset at all. The corset also accentuates the waist, which is always a plus. It's definitely a plus for a Kardashian or a Jenner, who we all know are in love with their waist trainers. Wearing an actual corset as part of your outfit is a dream come true for those girls, so we're sure that when Kylie saw Rihanna in a corset, she just felt that bit more validated. Kylie is seen here wearing an oversized t-shirt as a dress and thigh-high boots. To add some shape and structure to the shirt dress, she cinched her waist with a green corset. At least Kylie is doing fashion inspiration right this time. Now these were just 10 times Kylie got her inspo from Queen Riri, but we know there's more out there. Kylie Jenner has great style, thanks to her eye for fashion and her inspiration from other A-listers. Kylie loves twinning with these celeb fashion trendsetters and copying their looks by adding her own stylish spin. Try and dress cute and like I would always just like try and copy her outfit. Rihanna's camo jacket. Who wouldn't want to copy Rihanna's style? The queen of rocking high fashion, Rihanna is known for her looks that elegantly show off her enviable curves and figure. Kylie has looked to the Fenty designer for inspiration on multiple occasions. The stars took different approaches to styling the oversized reversible camo print jacket, but both wore it gray side out while stepping out on the town. Riri paired the jacket with camo print pants and a hoodie, while Kylie went for an all black juicy couture tracksuit ensemble underneath. Kylie wore the look while attending the set of the film Ocean's 8, where the reality star had a guest cameo spot on the all-female remake of the heist movie. Beyonce Copying the queen? Why, of course! Kylie Jenner takes her outfit inspo from the top of the fashion food chain when she copies outfits previously worn by Beyonce. When the Kylie Cosmetics creator launched her collection called Wild Thing, she shared images from the promo photo shoot, whose style was all over animal print. Kylie rocked a textured, high-volume hairstyle, which reminded fans of something familiar. Some commenters pointed out the similarities between Kylie's Wild Thing shoot and Beyonce's look for her music video for Kitty Cat. While the Queen Bay track debuted over a decade ago, it's still hard to ignore the resemblance between Kai's look and Beyonce's leopard print inspired video. Kim Kardashian With four older sisters who had a jumpstart on the world of fashion, it makes sense that Kylie has plenty of style advice from Kendall, Chloe, Courtney, and Kim. In terms of style choices, most fans agree that Kylie most takes after her big sister Kim. The pair are often seen rocking the same high fashion outfits, glam makeup looks, and changing up their hairstyles as much as possible. When Kylie was pregnant with Stormy Webster, she took a look from Kim's maternity book, wearing the same sheer black outfit with all its bump-bearing glory. Both sisters showed off their baby bump with sheer black lace with a red carpet-worthy floor-length jacket. Rihanna 
We love seeing the sheer black lace look for these ladies, and Kim wasn't the only one who wore it first. Kylie also took inspiration for the look from Rihanna's sheer black all-over lace ensemble. The singer and designer shared her look to Instagram before her Savage Fenty show aired live on Amazon Prime back in 2019. The star wore a see-through black long-sleeve shirt and tights with a black velvet wrap skirt. She was also ahead of the trends with full lace gloves. Kylie later recreated the look while expecting. Love it! Cardi B Every winter, Kylie and her family head to the slopes for a ski trip with plenty of gram-worthy opportunities and high-fashion apres ski looks. In December of 2019, the star filled her feed with snowy outfits, including an all-white bodysuit and fur scarf by Chanel, followed by a black-and-white jumpsuit and black turtleneck by the same designer. The fit ran her $3,350, and she paired it with a Chanel hat and mittens. A few months earlier, Cardi B wore the same look, pairing the Chanel onesie with a simple white tee, Chanel earrings, and long purple nails. Do you prefer Cardi's streetwear version of the look or Kylie's snow bunny ensemble? Ariana Grande Everyone wants to look cute on their birthday. If you think Stormy World is wild, you should see the string of parties and events that Kylie usually throws for her own day of birth. In 2020, the star started off the August 10th festivities with a surprise birthday dinner attended by her besties. Kylie had a pink frosted cake and wore a white knit crop top paired with a leather button-up. The top was identical to the one Ariana Grande wore earlier in the summer for her 27th birthday celebrations. Coincidence? Ariana styled the top with a white skirt and her signature high pony. Cardi B Taking lessons from Cardi B's wardrobe, Kylie wore a gorgeous pink crepe gown for her Kylie Cosmetics and Balmain collab. The architectural dress is everything and added some layers to her beauty brand shoot for the collection, and the line marked Kylie Cosmetics' first time on the high fashion runway. But wait a second, haven't we seen that dress before? Yep. Cardi wore the same incredible dress to Rihanna's fifth annual Diamond Ball in New York City and looked fantastic in it, we might add. Selena Gomez With each new collection of Kylie's cosmetic lines, her team creates a new theme, and with that, a photo shoot featuring Jenner in costume. And yes, they're usually creative masterpieces. But when Kylie Cosmetics launched her Summer Sailor collection, she wore a red, white, and blue beachy ensemble paired with a sailor hat and bright red lips. The whole thing looked a little too much like Selena Gomez's look from Blackpink's video for Ice Cream, which dropped only five days earlier. Gigi Hadid Are we digging this tie-dye outfit as a sleeveless dress the way Kylie wore it? Or as the long sleeve pant version that Gigi Hadid sported? Both look amazing, but the real question is, who wore it first? When the tie-dye trend took on in 2019, plenty of models and social media influencers were jumping on board, Kylie and Gigi included. And Kylie can never pass up a form-fitting look that shows off her curves. Although a similar pattern, Gigi's Coachella fit is by a sigh, while Kylie's bodycon dress with cinched sides and Stormy's mini-me version of the look are by Kim Shui, Bella Hadid. Unless you're headed to work on the farm, does anyone really need a straw hat? That's what I thought, until I saw these ladies rock the look that is. Can Bella Hadid make anything look amazing, or what? Fans loved Kylie's confident heavy post, featuring herself on vacation wearing a massive straw hat, clearly enjoying some sand and sun. The star captioned the post, Vacation Mode, but the look was following Bella's similar post featuring the model on a beach wearing a similarly large sun hat except taking that whole oversized trend up a notch. Kylie quickly limited the comments on her post when fans started pointing out that she'd copied the runway model's pick. Beyonce Kylie's leopard print shoot for the Wild Thing line of cosmetics wasn't the first time the CEO mom took inspiration from the queen of animal print herself. Just a few months earlier, the star got some heat online for copying a look worn by the crazy and love singer. Both Beyonce and Kylie have their catsuit game on point. They wore the red version of the fit paired with a matrix-style leather jacket, shades, and open-toed stilettos. Kylie rocked a neutral-colored version of the bodysuit, styling it in a similar way with a long leather jacket and black heels. It's hard to agree on which star rocked the Marine Sayre bodysuit better. Can we just call it a tie? Actually, let's give this win to Stormy. Cardi B Okay, we are starting to see a pattern here. Kylie copied Cardi B yet again when she took her Met Gala look to another level in 2019 with her purple Versace gown. The look was eerily similar to Cardi B's lavender pantsuit outfit from the year before for Fashion Week in Paris. 
Kylie even copied the matching purple hair. But the purple feather similarity to Cardi's feathery ensemble wasn't the end of the copycat routine. Kylie also went as far as getting her daughter Stormy a matching Mommy and Me version of the look after Cardi shared endless pics of her daughter, Culture, wearing matching outfits and costumes. Rihanna Is Kylie paying homage to her favorite celebs' best outfits or straight up copying their looks? Kylie showed up in a piece already worn by Rihanna once again when she wore the same silk gown. Kylie wore the black silk robe to the MTV VMAs circa 2014 and looked stunning. Rihanna had already rocked the dress in yellow to a Grammys party circa 2014. The elegant gown is from Alexandre Vauthier's spring collection of the same year, and we don't blame both stars for picking the look for their events. Finally, in 2017, Kylie wore a white fringe jumpsuit while on vacation with her ex-boyfriend Tyga, prompting fans to take note of Rihanna's version of the look in green. The catch? The New York-based shop told the Desperado singer that the jumpsuit was custom-made. Oops. Kendall Jenner Kylie takes fashion inspo from all her sisters, including her runway star sis. In 2019, Kylie shared shots of herself in a puffy ruffled red dress, captioning the photos, I'm ready for the V-Day collection, referring to the deep red shades dropping in the Kylie Cosmetics Valentine's Day collection. Just a few months earlier, Kylie's older sister Kendall wore a very similar red dress with tons of fluffy ruffles for the holiday's Estee Lauder Cosmetics campaign. While Kendall's gown has floral straps and Kylie's was strapless, they're pretty much the same dress. Knew in my soul that this was what I was supposed to do. Kim Kardashian Both Kylie and her older sister Kim tend to change up their hairstyles as often as they change their moods. With access to the world's top hairstylists and wig makers, why not? In 2020, Kylie branched out from her usual brunette, bleached, blue, and bob styles to try something completely new for her. The makeup guru went for a long, sleek style dyed bright yellow. The look was identical to Kim's previous take on the sunshine style. People will pinpoint every single thing about you. Does Kylie come up with her own looks or does she just copy her fellow celebs? This billionaire makeup guru and 2B mom of two is super busy, so it only makes sense that she takes inspiration from her gorgeous and talented celeb friends when it comes to style. I feel good and I'm about to catch a flight. What do you think about Kylie's copycat looks? Let us know in the comments and subscribe to The Thing Celebrity for more stories about fashion and your favorite stars.